Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. And now your host, Kyle Ruff. Is that how you're going to talk? Is that, is that how I should talk? Is that, ugh, is that how you're going to talk? <laughs> yeah, don't talk like that. Sh- sh- should, I, should I talk with a deeper voice? Uh, the high voice. Now try a high one. Should I talk with a high voice? I like right. that one better. I like that one. I like for that sure. one better. Let me see if I can hold it. And on yeah. that note, welcome to the Steamboat Comedy Podcast, everybody. Yay! We're back. <laughs> We're back again. I'm your host, Kyle Ruff, joined by Matthew Newland. Check it out. Thanks for and stopping by. Special guest, Chet Tilly. What's up, Chet? Happy to be here. Hell yeah. And of course. As always, this show is brought to you by McCrate Progressive Dentistry, who have been helping make Steamboat Locals smile for over 25 years. Last week I said 20 years, and then I was corrected. It's over 25 years, 25 years. Well, over 20 years can be 25 years. Not to get into the schematics. That's true. I I kind of thought the same thing. I wasn't going to say anything. I was like, well, that is. I can say over two years. Yeah, and it's still correct. You know what I mean? For the last 10 days, you could say more than the last 10 days they've been helping people. Right. But a lot of, uh, they say when it comes to dentistry, a lot of people get credibility around year 23. You know what I mean? So it's, it's kind a, of important to have the distinction. It's the 23rd year? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Jordan year, baby. That's right, dude. <laughs> so we just had a, a great show last night. Chet was kind enough to join us on that one at Schmiggity's, and then we floated the river today. That was uh was that that was your first river adventure, Chet? No, no, it wasn't my first river adventure ever. It was my first Yampa, 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 Yampa. <laughs> the Yampa, Yampa. River. Yampa. Uh, I've, uh, you know, we have a Yampa or Yampa sandwich shop in Denver, so I was excited <laughs> to see the river it came from. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where they make all the sandwiches, and then they send them down to Denver. The inspiration. Mm-hmm. The Yampa. You say like a Swedish person. Yampa. We floated the Yampa. I want to float the Yampa. Uh, check out your American rivers. It, it was <laughs> definitely the scariest uh, adventure I had. What made it scary? Yeah, what? Everything was totally normal, Chad. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 the wish.com float made me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You didn't like the float. I was a chair. I was kind of confident until we set foot in the water, and you guys had a little bit of panic and didn't make me think I was gonna make it. <laughs> oh yeah, I I didn't feel panicked at I all. I wasn't panicked at all. I was. I was. Confident. I mean, I was wrecked, but I wasn't panicked. Yeah, it was a very different. Th- well, not always different. It was, was good. <laughs> <laughs> they go hand in they hand. Ca- they kind of depends on the situation. But we had ice cream. It all worked out. Exactly. Oh, the ice the cream, ice cream I great. think, is what was stressing you out, dude. Dude, I, I, I should have covered in ice cream. I should, I, I should have put that stress on me. You know, yeah. I would have known that the ice cream would melt yeah. so fast. Summer. When, when you picked summer. up that ice cream at the store, I was kind of like, "Do you know what we're about to do?" <laughs> like, I was like, "I'm not going to say anything." Not but, only okay. do I know, I had multiple warnings of this is a bad idea, <laughs> and I the problem was okay, so. I mean, my partner needed ice cream, but the ice cream was buy one get one. So was I just gonna? Well, then you can't. Yeah, can't just just buy one and not get the other one. I'm not a. I'm not a sucker. Okay. Right. No. Yeah. You're a lot of things. Yeah. But not a sucker. sucker. Not a sucker. Is this a uh, optimal time to mention you are Jewish? (laughs) Uh, they. (laughs) I think. I think this has video. They can probably see my (laughs) massive nose. The secrets out. Yeah. Um. (laughs) I mean, what do you do in those type of situations? Do you not get ice cream? Do you? You kind of have to get one. Yeah. If it's bogo. If it's bogo, you're not just gonna bow and not go. I, yeah. I don't think there's ever been a, a, a bogo that I didn't go. Right. Yeah. You no, know, like you can't just bow. Can't just bow. I, I say no, no. I don't bow. I bogo. Holy ho! The fucking you, Eminem you over there. there? <laughs> a single situation where you wouldn't take the other thing. I. You know. Sex with a man. Sex with a man. I would yeah. if I if I a guy was like, one. "Hey, if there's a male prostitute and he's like, my friend can join us." It's bogo. It's bogo. I'd be like, you know what? I think one's enough. I'm a one man guy. I'm a one man guy. I'm a one man prostitute. I'm faithful to my solo male prostitute. Oh my god! One day he will. He will make you a. Someday you'll make an honest man out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the the raft that we had, um, speaking of male prostitutes, the raft that we had was kind of deflated. Yeah. 
and uh, that made it for a little bit more of an adventurous trip. Yeah, we had the uh, we call Dude, it the party barge, and it's a six person f- inflatable double couch. Yeah, it's and huge. It's huge, <laughs> and uh, let's just say it had a bit of a hole in it. Yep, from earlier rafting from trips. The last time it took it out, and we thought we could patch it because we're skilled laborers. With you know what I mean? Tape. With with gorilla, we did have a patch, and then put tape over the patch, and that still didn't work. No, and so we were actively losing water uh, at an alarming rate. Yeah, or not losing water, losing air. We were gaining water, gaining yeah. so much water, <laughs> losing air, gained all the water. <laughs> but we just leaned back and really accepted our fate, and like we put our feet together, feet strong together. Yeah, Creed feet. guided us through. Yep. Yes, Creed. Creed. Yeah, Scott Staff, and Creed. he's up in heaven. He's not dead, but he is up in heaven. He's up in heaven, and he guided us through, looking uh, down on us. Yes, with arms, with arms wide open, wide, so wide open. It's just, you mean, all the way open. His arms are bogo, brogo. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'll give you one arm and another one free, baby. <laughs> these bitches are wide open. <laughs> <laughs> and then we listen to Cake. What do you think of Cake? Are you a big Cake fan? I like cake. I like cake more than the next guy. What's your favorite? <laughs> a little more, a little more yeah. than the average person. Not, not, not the average person. You should have brought cake with your ice cream onto the boat. Is what you I was, done. I was hoping for the mana mana. You know the little, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Mana, mana. Like the Muppets? Yeah, cake's got an amazing version. Really? Oh yeah, you should. How do I not know about this? Check that out. The I don't know. Fuck is wrong with they me? They got the War Pigs cover, which I think is fucking. The sick. War Pigs cover. So does I, I never was like, I want to hear the Muppets. Version. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will. You will. I need Muppets War Pigs. That's what I need. More Muppets, less War Pigs. Mm, generals gathered in their masses. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kermit, dude. Like, I didn't know you could do a like Kermit. Witches and black masses. <laughs> Pretty good cake, Kermit, too. There's no cake, Kermit. This is not a bad Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you had ice cream and it was on a stick. What do you think about sticks? I mean, we were talking about this earlier. Chet. I just feel like Chet. I feel like Chet. what's your take on sticks? A, a stick for an ice cream is fine. I mean, I'm actually this this is probably a hotter take. I'm less into cones. Less into cones. More into sticks. I'm more into sticks. I don't need the extra calories while I'm already having ice cream. How are you, you eating the sticks? <laughs> yes, <I> don't. <laughs> no, but are you eating the cones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never. That's why I, I don't need sticks. the extra calories. <laughs> I only get cones if they're made out of wood. And that's <laughs> <laughs> the sticks are the sticks have good fiber. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you gotta yeah, get yeah, your fiber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you well how do you feel about Klondike bars? And what would you do for one? <laughs> I'm I'm <laughs> I'm very lactose intolerant, <laughs> so I'm already gonna suffer consequences. I don't need two consequences. Oh my you god! Know what I mean, mm. like I'll take one and I I'll suffer, but I'm not gonna do something else to gain that suffering. Yeah. Talk talk uh, talk right into talk there, right guy. right there into right the, into that guy. Okay. Uh, All the way. Now you can move it around too. It does. It Look swivels. It pivots. Oh, oh there you oh, go. Oh, swiveled too it, hard. It, it, now you have to hold it like that the okay. rest of the show. <laughs> yeah, the whole and if if you let the arm thing touch the ground, it's like lava, and all of our parents will die. That's true. Mm-hmm. And that has <laughs> nothing to do with OCD. Nothing at all. Everything to do with we're, reason and logic. We're mentally healthy people here. <laughs> um, we're so mental, so healthy. You, do you got maybe just you just hold the mic too is an option. Yeah. Let's just do that. Yes. You can yeah. take the mic out of there. That might be easier. Yeah. I don't know if it needs it. I think I think helps on the way. Did you if you you can lean back like that and just hold the mic like yeah, it's a uh, pull it out. Oh, didn't I know that feel you're not good? A guy who like, pulls out, like but. like it's a microphone. Didn't yeah, that, yeah, it's like uh, being on stage, but um, but in a studio. Our show is also brought to you by these these things, and if you're not uh, if you're just listening, these things are. Uh, I don't know, what do you Springy call things. Spring arms. We have little like like mechanical arms that hold our microphones because we have lots of money, and they don't work very well. No, but if you fold them up, they look like a stormtrooper's gun. <laughs> oh, they do. Mm-hmm. That is true. They look like Star Wars guns. If, so, you, if you do it right. Yeah. If you're imaginative enough, you can play with them for hours on end. Oh yeah. And uh, not think twice about it. <laughs> yeah. Don't even think about it. Don't even worry about Chet, it. Chet, now you didn't answer. What would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not gonna put myself into jeopardy just to have consequences down the road. You yeah, know what I mean. Uh, so you if we're talking about nice. like a, we're so talking you do about like a, Well, if we're talking about like one of those vegan clone dyke bars, you know, if they have them, a clone else. dyke bar, <laughs> <laughs> just cloning up lesbians. Yeah, yeah. and they're just, making ice cream. Just splicing genes for <laughs> yeah. lesbians. Non-GMO. <laughs> Non-GMO. <laughs> vegan. Organic. Subaru driving. <laughs> yeah. That's our. That's just our clientele. Dyke that's our demographic, baby. Just clone dykes. Throwing ice cream out the Subaru. Hell yeah, uh, I went too much. I I get enough ice cream. So does that? So does every time you eat ice cream, do you like poop it out violently because you're lactose intolerant? 
Shout out my sponsor, Yasso Bars. Yasso, Yasso Bars. Yasso, Yasso Friend Bars. Friend of the show. <laughs> They're uh, dark chocolate. Got some sea salt caramel. Greek yogurt. Don't bother my stomach. Mm. No. 140 calories. Very delicious. Nice. On a stick. 140 calories or under 40 calories? 140 calories. Okay. Uh, <laughs> under would be really specific. <laughs> yeah. Under 40 <laughs> 37 calories. 37 calories. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Those. That's that's a uh, that's that's my guilty pleasure. You guys could have had some. It would have helped take some of the uh, bars out because I had way too many. Oh. Yeah. Well, it. just a side note, don't uh, put your sponsors on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're really pissing off the great progressive <laughs> yeah. dentistry right just now. Just a side note, uh, we should have talked about that earlier, and I'm sorry we didn't. <laughs> yes. One <laughs> sponsor per show. It Actually, a, we'll take more. We'll it take was in my rider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit, I really should have read that thing. Fuck. How much money do I owe you? Uh, uh, it, you could just make payment to, to Yasa. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so. He said he'd take cash or four Klondike bars. <laughs> 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 we could make that happen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. So you had a good time up here. This is your first time gallivanting around Steamboat. What'd you think of the town? And how much better is it than Denver? And how much better is the comedy scene here than Denver? Go ahead. <laughs> well, first of all, Steamboat comedy was awesome. Schmigadies was a, a great venue. They had amazing lights. I think there was some fog. <laughs> yeah, there was some fog. <laughs> there, there was, was some, some lights. That was, that was pretty big. The fog was delayed, you don't get that kind there. of production. It like comedy works. They High production value. Like Very good crowd. Good comics. I mean, it was it was a hot night. It was a hot night. Hot, you enjoyed it? Night. I did enjoy it. I got to meet a, a Survivor contestant that Ooh. happened to do some uh, Ooh, comedy shout out as Kendra well. Ruth, friend of the show, is, which is pretty cool. As a super fan, that was that was a good way to to spend the time. We knew her when she was just a non famous fucking loser, and now she's you know better than us. A famous loser. <laughs> she's a famous fucking loser. <laughs> Steamboat's great. Great food. <laughs> Great food. I've <laughs> yeah, I've dude. only eaten really really well. Hell yeah, dude! Um, I like around. that. I like that. Uh, the town's beautiful. It's a it's a good time. I have I have been in the winter, but I haven't really got a chance to to go in the summer. Mm. So that was my first time. That's what they say. You, you you come for the winter, and then you come in the summer. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's not what they say. <laughs> That's not what they say. No, no. Oh. To come for the winter and then come in the summer. Oh right. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I mean, because you're not gonna get summer pregnant by coming on it. No. Uh at least that's what Summer's I Summer's a great guy. Show <laughs> show Summer. <laughs> We're going to get him pregnant. Um, yeah, it was a great time. Glad you made the trip up, buddy. Glad we got you up. So what's uh, what's next in the life of Chet Tilly? Anything big on the horizon here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go to Orlando, Florida. Ooh, what's the occasion? Uh, big family reunion. What are you I'm talking big old about <laughs> <laughs> 20 people including my 90 year old grandparents that's 40 tits thought thought uh <laughs> thought uh big ones summer summer in orlando would be a good time for a get together i don't know how much i agree with that it'll be about 180 degrees that'll be fun yeah that'll be fun and humid too they want me to they want and insist very much insist to go to a comedy show of mine so you're trying to get booked on a show, and did you get? Uh, yeah, I, I got booked on a few shows there. I, nice, I have, fuck I yeah. have homies in, in Orlando, nice. and, and that was tight. Um, so I am excited. I'm glad, but I am. Is that where you're from? No, nah, but I live there. I'm a, I'm a New Yorker. New Yorker. Then Spain, then Orlando. Then I moved from Vegas. Then Spain. Spain. Just brushed right over that, didn't you? How long were you in Spain for? I lived there twice, southern Spain, Andalusia. That's sick. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty great. Yeah, it was it was much better in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's no Orlando. How many theme parks are in southern Spain? Probably none. Yeah. So Orlando yeah. wins. Orlando does win. I actually uh, moved there to work at Disney World. Really? Yeah. What did what did you do? Were you would did you dress up like somebody? No. Did you play I young had, Simba? I had uh, my roommate was friends with uh, Goofy, so he dressed up there. Yeah, Why'd you put friends in quotes? Was he fucking Goofy? <laughs> That's what they call it because they don't want to <laughs> ruin the magic, so they're not like he's Goofy. They're like, how could you be Goofy? You're a person, so you're just saying, I'm gonna hang out. My my job is I'm friends with Goofy, and then you just put on the hot suit and, <laughs> and almost die. Uh, so your friend was Goofy. My friend was Goofy, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah. And What's your, your job was to be friends with him. I was friends with him, yeah, because we were roommates. So you were Goofy, too. I was qualified to actually be mouse height, believe it or not. Yeah. That, what? I'm in there. You what? Know? So you could be Mickey? I could. The problem was I was actually scheduled to go, and this girl who was, like, friends with us, not like how I was friends with Goofy because she was a bitch, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, she 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 didn't pick me up because someone told her I said she wasn't pretty enough 
to be a princess. Okay, but did you? And Which I even did not, if not say. But was it true, though? It wasn't true, but it was hilarious. Why did she think that you said that? You well, would never. I, I would never say that, but the amount of, like, offended someone got at this, like, you know, that's like... Sounds like someone's a little parents, insecure. Your parents mm-hmm. are telling you all your life you're going to be a princess, and then you hear someone say that. You're just so he didn't pick me up. <laughs> so I never, I never got to be Mickey or Minnie. Or None anybody. of the characters. None of the what characters. What did you do there? I did uh, merchandise, which means I was a glorified cashier. That's why you got into comedy. You just love merch. <laughs> I love the merch. <laughs> it's just I'm a front. The merchandise. Just a front to sell merch, dude. That's right. Just a front. Just have a passion for T-shirts and stickers, buddy. Yeah, it was. It was not. It was not a great gig. Sounds awful. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, um, we got to go to Disney a lot though. Ton of fireworks. Yeah, I was just in. I told the story on the podcast before, but my fucking brother. Was like, oh, we're gonna go on a, a little family vacation to Orlando, and we went to the Magic Kingdom yep. with my niece. Because like, oh, it's for my niece. But the problem is, my niece is fucking two, so she's not gonna, not remember, gonna remember any anything. of this shit. So I was like, why are we even fucking here? A lot of money for someone to like. You remember we went to Disney? No, I was two yeah. years old with it. Right, and then also like. We were at the Magic, Magic Kingdom, which is the only one you can't drink at. I found out when I got there. I was like, let's get a beer. Like, you can't Not drink here. there? You can't drink. You can drink uh, at all the other parts except for I the worked at Epcot. People were hammered at Epcot. Oh, I would like I was planning on getting hammered at Epcot. Yeah. But no, you can't drink at the fucking Magic Kingdom. Did you go on Small World after all? We know. Mm, we know. No, we just call that the World After yeah, All. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the shorts. Short Kings? Uh... No, we I I did. There was a Tron roller coaster that was kind of cool. Oh, I know that one. And then there was one other coaster we did that was okay. What I forgot though is how much Disney is just singing robots. Yeah. I was like, I'm not impressed by singing robots. I'm just not. And that was like eighty percent of the day, watching robots sing songs. Yeah. And I was like, I don't care. You're not even a person. This is not impressive. They do have Robot. Splash Mountain though. That is that is the best one. We didn't do Splash Mountain. Oh. I went and saw a Taylor Swift concert, and I was like, look at this robot fucking singing. It was, just, <laughs> it was the same thing. Not impressed. Yeah. No, that's a lie. I love Taylor Swift. Anyway. She well, how'd you too. end up in Denver? <laughs> the mountains and the music, I thought it'd be a, a good place to, to do it. I was overseeing ski strategy for my company, which means I got passes for both, like, Vail and uh, Altera. Oh, yeah? So I was like, why not? I'll Friends go here. Yeah. I, went, I, I went to a Red Rock show on Mushrooms, and I said... I need to move here. That'll happen. Who'd you see? String cheese. Oh, yeah, then He's you're like, I need to move. Fucker, I need dude. to. I need you're a jam band dude. You should move to Steamboat, no, bro. Nice. That's all we fucking get. Yeah. You had this whole Blink-182 front and fucking Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and you're really just into jam bands, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm not one-dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> you're clearly three-dimensional, um, first yeah. of all. I'm, I'm a complex guy. Now we're talking about like dimensions, Blink-182. <laughs> You should have got. I was gonna go. Aliens. To this, I was gonna go to this free concert on Wednesday, and then I found out it was a uh, a band called Dead Fish, and they just play Fish and Grateful Dead songs. And I was like, I'd rather kill myself, but you would have loved that. I like the Dead. I do not like Fish. No. 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 I thought Fish was like the fucking creme de la creme of jam band bullshit. You know why they named themselves Grateful Dead? Uh no. Tell me. It's because when you when you die, you're grateful. You don't have to hear their <laughs> shitty music anymore. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> you guys don't like the dead? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Write a song. Write Casey a chorus. Casey Jones is an yeah. okay song. What about the cowboy stuff? The cowboy stuff? The cowboy yeah. stuff. What do you mean the cowboy stuff? Well, Bobby sings like some cowboy stuff. Like some country? Yeah, I know there's kind of folk. Kind of folk. I think you might like that. I I I've listened to a couple of them, and when there's fucking like a chorus and like a maybe a verse or two, I'm like, okay, that's a good song. It's like that's a song. That's a good song, and I like that. <laughs> but when it's just like, oh man, check out this guitar solo that lasts 42 fucking minutes. Yeah, but that's when you take the drugs. I can take drugs. <sighs> just in the background, enhancing your experience. Can you uh, do the viewers uh, a favor and give me your best jam band dance right now? <laughs> I don't, I don't dance. You don't dance. You don't I, dance. No, I just sit there and nod. You just you're one of those guys who just kind of nods and you move yeah. your hips at all. No, I I I'm really bad. This is that's at, all you have to do for a jam at, band. At moving just, just. moving my hips. I don't. I think I, it's a flexibility issue. I've been told that I am not a good dancer. You got to get into yoga. And I need to move my hips more. 
So you're clearly a bottom then. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, <laughs> you have to move your hips. <laughs> you can move your no, hips from the if bottom. you got to move your hips on top because that's where you guess where the love making happens. Yeah, but if you're on the bottom and you move your hips, it's like way better. That's for, true. It's a really a team effort of for hips. everyone that's involved. Everyone's got to use. I can't hips. believe you moved to Denver because you saw <laughs> string, you saw string cheese. cheese. That's Red so Rocks. wild. I was in <laughs> Vegas before, so I was I wasn't planning on staying in Las Vegas for the rest of my life. So yeah, how was how was Vegas? Awesome. Vegas is a very underrated place to live. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, you go to shows all the time. Food's good. You see some crazy shit all the time. That's a good place to people watch. You see. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. What year shit. were you in? What years? Uh, right before the pandemic. I think, okay. Like, probably. 18, seven, 19? Yeah, 18, 19. Right. <laughs> before the flu, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> before that happens. Well, I was supposed to, speaking of Spain, I was supposed to go to Spain for two weeks in April of 2020. Mm-hmm. So as you can imagine, that didn't happen. No. No. Yeah. Well, and it was also with my ex girlfriend, so it's a good thing that that didn't, <laughs> that didn't yeah. happen. Yeah, I could have saved you. Uh, yeah. I might have saved my life. I could have saved I might you. be married and fucking miserable right now. <laughs> yeah, you could be. There's a strong chance that that's that what is, happened. That is fun that that's all where we're destined, so. Yeah. What? <laughs> Thank God. Well, fucking hey, man. So you're coming up in the Denver scene, digging it, getting in new faces and shit. Denver's got an awesome scene, I got to yeah, say. Sure. They've, been, they've yeah. been really cool to me. Shout uh, out to Denver, friend of the show. For sure, uh, yeah, I would say I'd say Denver scenes. It's good. It's it's good community. There's a lot of stage time. Uh, there's a lot going on. I also come down to the Springs a lot. I like Colorado Springs. Nice. Sometimes I go to Fort Collins and Boulder. But all friends of the show. Yeah. Yep. Even all those towns. Loveland. Friend Loveland? of the show. I've done a show in Loveland before. Yeah. We did. Or wait, what was that? Was Mother trucker. I think that was Loveland. Oh, was that I Loveland that or there's that Mother Trucker? Yeah. yeah, they have they had two locations. We did that at a brewery. Yeah, yeah. I think they, I think they have one in Thornton and one somewhere that's Is, not. Thornton. Was that Louisville or was yeah. it Loveland? One's Louisville, one's Thornton. I think. I that think Louisville is where it was. Right by the uh, there was a movie theater that had pool. Yeah, I have a interesting story when I did that one. Uh, I went to the dentist and my mouth was fully numb. And mm. he was like, "Oh, you got a, a comedy show? Can I come?" So I did the set. Your dentist came? Yeah, I did the set. Numb. Shouted out my dentist while. Were while you like talking the, funny and shit? Oh, I was talking. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I, I was barely talking. Uh, it, it was. It was. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I've actually. I, I have bad gums, so I go to the dentist often. And I've had to do comedy probably like. Four or five times, either partially or fully numb. Oh, Jesus. what a fucking nightmare! Yeah, it's kind of like one of those like challenges, you know. Like if you lose this, it's the wheel of doom, you know. Yeah. Like, do it after you get a lot of Novocaine. Kind of a yeah. fun theme, you know. You should incorporate some Novocaine into your. We that could be. And we could get plenty of Novocaine from uh, McCrate Progressive Dentistry, serving Steamboat locals for over twenty-five years. Uh, I heard it was over twenty-six. You know. They they didn't tell me. That's like a good tactic is like just go to the dentist all the time and then see if you can get him to come to the show. <laughs> like, yeah. we really need to fill seats, man. Can you please come to my show? He, he thought it was great. He was like, I've never had someone with their mouth numb do comedy. We'll see how it affects you. Did yeah. it, how did you do with a, a numb face? Uh, I I did I did all right. I probably would have done better if my face wasn't numb. Probably. Yeah. But <laughs> I think I got I can some, imagine. I got some bigger I got some bigger pops riffing on being numb, but yeah. I also got some Probably less comprehension because I couldn't talk very well. Yeah. 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 I mean, Matt's usually numb when he performs too, but that's just the heroin. Yes. Yes. Ah. I wasn't gonna say it. I was, you know. Oh yeah, no. Everybody knows. That's true. You everybody are knows. the you are the heroin comedian of Steamboat Springs. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Fucking did. Took me long enough. You proud of me now, Dad? <laughs> no, it's not heroin. It's just opiates. Right. It's just I'm scared of it's needles. Just <laughs> yeah. It's not the same. Scared of needles. Not gonna do heroin. <laughs> Oh god! But I will smoke it. You ever like go back home and then find out that somebody that you knew from high school got addicted to uh, uh, oxycotton? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah, it seems a like... bunch of times. Yeah, it's a Midwest thing. It's a hillbilly heroin, is what they call it. So yeah. we we in the Midwest ain't a lot to do. Sometimes you gotta pop some prescription pills, you know. Oh yeah, I uh, well I 
can share it. I had a nice little uh, opium phase back in the day. Did you? A fun little opium really? phase. Ooh. Fun little opium phase. Nice little silly opium phase. <laughs> Is that when you lived in China? It, it, seems so, <laughs> it seemed so pedine at the time, too. I was like, everyone was doing it. it was just Did you say pedine? Benign, like oh, benign. I thought he said soap for a dime. It's just like, <laughs> I was uh, like that's crazy. Smelled like incense. You know, you just sprinkle it on top of the weed, mm-hmm. and then you just get really, really stoned. I did yeah. that in college a few move. times. Yeah. Opium, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was a casual college thing. You know, yeah, it's like drinking. College. You're drinking college. You're not an alcoholic. You right. smoke yeah. in college. You're not a Chinaman. You know, that's how it works. When you're 35 and you do drugs and drink alcohol, then you're a comedian. Yeah. Did you ever get into Kratom? Speaking of opiates. Dude, I I run a show that is at a Kava and Kratom place. Really? Yeah. I what love is, Denver I've, so much. I've never Denver's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, you we gotta go to Denver and do yeah. some fucking Kratom. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, uh, you guys get Kratom at my show. We give free Kava and Kratom to comics. <laughs> like, here, what? Take this before you go on stage and your stomach's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. I, I felt like I was gonna die. It hurts and, your stomach. And it's weird because you know comics are glorified alcohol salesman, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't really want to be a glorified Kratom salesman because I don't I don't think it's... I think it's fucked up. Yeah. Uh, so the audience is on Kratom, and they are they are really fucked up. Yeah, they're, they're, it's like a different challenge. That's well, why I imagine they're not very active and like... Well, what is... So I'm confused. You've done Kratom before, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, I tried it. You've done it too? I've done it. Because I've heard some people say that, yeah, she's on Kratom right now. Uh, I've heard some people say that it's like a like an upper, and I've heard other people say that it's like a downer. So I don't know. It's a downer on my stomach, that's for sure. Yeah, God damn, I'll <laughs> tell you that, dude. <laughs> the it shit is. goes downer into the toilet. Yeah. It, no, it just felt like for me taking like a Hydro 5. It's like, oh, I feel kind of good. And What's then that? you're. I, I like that. Like did a pain pill. Oh, okay. Just yeah. like a Hydro. Like, and it's like very fucking. And it's so gross. It's way worse. Like. Did you have the powder stuff or the pills? I had a shot of it. Yeah, so probably powder, yeah, yeah, and it yeah. just tastes like I, shit. Yeah, huh. my buddy left me a ton of the pills when he moved out, and then I never tried it. And after trying the powder, I was like, "We can throw this all out." I don't. <laughs> no thanks. I think like kratom is a type of thing. Like, yeah, someone gives it to you, and you then you keep it in your drawer for the longest time, and then you're like, you're fully out of weed, and you don't want to <laughs> go buy any alcohol. And you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just take this and and ruin my night. The box looked very menacing. Like it was like a black tin. It had like red X, and it was like kratom. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> fucking kratom. This looks like it's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want any of this. It's <laughs> actually just rat poison. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looked like don't con- like don't consume as a human. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was wild. Yeah. Yes. I I uh shout out Kava House. So that's you do a show there? Yeah, I do a show. They do community events. It's cool. It's in the back. Everyone's really stoned. It's a lot of regulars. Uh sounds it, like our people. It yeah. seemed like a lot of children when I was running it, but now apparently when you're like eighteen, like nineteen, twenty, it was yeah. like a big gathering. I think they changed the Kratom or Kava rules to now at only twenty one, so it cut a big part of their clientele mm. yeah probably hurt the business and hurt the business uh and yeah it's a great show we uh <laughs> our next one's on sunday I, I love that room it's it it looks like it looks like an opium den what do you think like uh the legalization of weed has done for like comedy in a state that has legal weed like do you think it's good like people being high as fuck at the show all the time i don't we do a, we do a lot of shows at breweries, yeah. And I think because they're at breweries, you know, people kind of have their 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 vice. So I think at those shows, a lot of people are drinking more than smoking. Yeah, yeah I yeah. did a show pretty recently too, uh, where it was a weed show. It was the only uh, dispenser uh, lounge consumption okay. lounge in Colorado. So they you can just smoke Interesting. fucking joints there. I while smoked. Yeah, I smoked. I smoked. Um, I hit a bong, and then uh, <laughs> I wish you kept saying I smoked. Yeah, I smoked. I smoked. Okay, I smoked. <laughs> I, I I was I was blitzed out of my mind, and then the hosts Took a were bong like, rip. "We actually don't want to uh, host. Can you host?" <laughs> and you're like, "What? That sounds about right." And, and, and then they just left. 
<laughs> I, I, I'm getting it. And then I just had to host. I had to host the show. Jesus. Um, they That's had board so games. Good. They had Ganja Land. I'm not making this up. So we played. God, was a, that like Candyland, but with yeah, weed? Yeah, a weed version of Candyland. That's fun. And that's uh, so funny. Fun for the whole family. I ended on. I have a famous uh, smoke trick. I don't have any weed here, but I I ended on that. And that, that was a smoke cool. smoke trick. Like you burn like rings and shit. It's it's better it's better to see I'll I'll do it for you later but uh, okay yeah it's, a little teaser it's, it's, it's really <laughs> funny to like the concept of being like let's have a weed show and then everyone smokes before and they're like no let's not do this like, oh not, fuck no, this, <laughs> let's not it was wild I show. I actually haven't been to a show where like there were two producers um I I still had a great time it was good shout out to them. Um, but <laughs> two producers in case one gets too fucking paranoid, and, 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 they, and they both they both left, and I was like, okay, I've I I you're like you got can you can you I was like handle uh, your sure. fucking weed. It's a weed show. God, that would be me. I mean, <laughs> I like mean, smoke, getting high, like really high before a comedy show might be my actual worst nightmare. It could be the It device. was really fun to answer oh your, your question, Matt. The thing is, people who drink definitely uh, laugh more There's a sweet spot. than people who smoke. Yeah. Because, like, I can tell that <laughs> it's like, no, I just, I'd rather, you know, a drunk motherfucker just cracking up. Yeah. yeah. Even if it's They're like not letting their guard up. down as much. You'd yeah. rather have someone on four beers than. Someone on one joint, for sure. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then below that is fifteen beers. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. Maybe one dab, you know. Ooh, <laughs> that would fucking ruin me if I had oh to perform God. after a dab. It, it was, it was hard. It was, it was pretty fun though. I gotta say, I, I do smoke. I don't smoke and perform usually. I, it's my reward for afterwards. But it made me think like. It'd be fun, or at least an open mic riffing on that. You know. Yeah. yeah. I try to take the shows and. Be professional while doing comedy. It's like I want to do my best stuff. I don't want to forget what I'm doing, but it was it was fun as fuck. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think. Nice. Yeah, I'd love to come check out your show, buddy. That sounds like a yeah, good yeah, time. Yeah, we'll have Rip you guys. Rip some kratom, sure. dude. Shit yeah. our pants. Rip some kratom. Yeah. Smoke, smoke some, some weed. Kava. Tastes like earth. Have you ever had? Kava? No. What is what is kava? It is a root that relaxes you. So a lot of people are recovering alcoholics. They do it because you can drive on it. Oh, nice. Mm, they yeah. say you could drive on it. I can't imagine driving on it is a great idea, though. I How much does it about. fuck you up? Uh, it, it First of all, it numbs your mouth, which is weird. <laughs> well, you're used to that. You're into this numbing the mouth business, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You hate feeling the inside of your own mouth, don't you? Uh, take the pain away. <laughs> <laughs> just oh got, can- just got, got canker gums. sores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got so many canker sores, you'd constantly want a numb mouth. <laughs> just go to the doctor's office just to get your mouth numb. She's like, numb it up. I don't need any work. Just get get the feeling out of there. I don't feel anything. I don't, uh, feel, I don't feel anything anymore. Just give me a shot, please. I mean, it is cool you got some dentist sponsors. They can do Novocaine. They can do laughing yeah. gas. I mean, they're, it's uh, real for comedy. Yeah. We should get some laughing gas. Yeah. Well, let's let's hit up McCray and be like, hey, can you give us as much what is what is laughing gas actually called? Nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. Let's get some nitrous balloons. <laughs> we'll rip some whippets for the podcast. It's very yeah. expensive. I've asked. We don't have to get it from the dentist office. That's true. <laughs> we yeah. can we'll, we'll go to a fucking it. string cheese incident show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go see string at Red Rocks and yeah, then we'll be then good just to go. Yeah, move, there's move to Vegas. With the, the canisters outside all yeah. the time. Yeah, I've done Jesus. whippets before. Have you guys done whippets? I never have. It's always freaked me out. I yeah, I get a, I get afraid because it's like, hey, do you want to lose brain cells? And yep. like, yes, I know I'm smoking and losing brain cells, but the way right. whippets are always described, yeah, that's what it yeah, is. But you have to yeah. accept that you're like, all right, I'm losing brain cells I tonight. I can't be worried about it the whole time. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a warrior. Yeah. And then I, whippets I heard that's aren't for you. <laughs> not actually true. I heard that was just a, like a rumor. That, that like you, you that you like kill brain cells when you do it, but even still, I was like, ah, it's too late. I Isn't don't want to do it. I've heard I don't that know. From Kids, go out and do as many whippets as you can. Let us know. Send us a DM, uh, steamboatcomedy.com email. Um, yeah, I don't. I've never done a whippet. I smoked fucking Selvia one time in college, mm. and it was stupid. You didn't have fun. It was just dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I was just kind of like, ah, Did for you, like. Was minutes. it crazy? Not really. I feel like you have to smoke salvia around a campfire for it to be good. It was so I. W- <laughs> Chet, when you I don't agree. It, we can talk I've about it. I've never heard anyone who smoked salvia two times. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There you and go. Like I've heard a lot of people who have smoked it once, and they're like, "Never again." <laughs> hey, you want to try this? No, definitely uh-huh. not. No one has ever been like, 
do it. It's like the opposite of meth. I, like would, do just DM, I would do DMT <laughs> over salvia. That would be, I've heard a few people that have liked DMT. That mm. seems kind of fun. I tried to do it once. Didn't work out so well. What happened? Well, Sounds painful. I want to give too much of the story because this is a bit that I still do on stage. Okay. But basically, I tried to do it with my buddy and he was all fucked up. And I he was like sprinkling on a bowl of weed. And I just got really high, which I hate fucking smoking weed. So I was just like, fuck, now I'm just really high. And I didn't, I didn't like was nothing else. Was it just happened. not enough? I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing it just fucked it up, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. no one who I've heard who smoked DMT says like, oh yeah, I just got a little high. It's been like... Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know, I lost my soul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, what happened, and that's, this part isn't in the bit, well, what happened was I, I went there. It was me and two other buddies went there to go smoke it. Because another friend who lived down the street, he was like, I have DMT, and we're like, fuck it, let's go try it. None of us had ever done it before. And he did it first, the guy who lived there, and he was like, oh, my God, and, like, freaked out. And then he was like, I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll try it next. And then he just, like, uh... He, he like set it up and gave it to me. And I smoked it and nothing happened. And then he basically was like, "Uh, well, I'm I'm tired." And then we all just left. No one else even tried. And I just got really stoned. And I hadn't smoked weed in probably like three years at that point. What? And then I went home. And for some reason, we thought it'd be a good idea to watch uh fucking Black Mirror. Yeah, terrible idea. And it was it was like the craziest episode. Do you remember the episode? I think it's called White Bear. Where it's the this chick and you don't know what's going on, but she just like wakes up and is getting like chased by like crazy people in masks and shit. And then you find out at the end that she's like a convicted murderer and they have a theme park where they uh, just torture her for people's entertainment. That sounds oh terrifying. God. And I so I came in, never seen that episode before, high as balls, and this crazy shit was happening, and I was just like, Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened when I tried to smoke DMT. <laughs> I had a horrible fucking night. I think that's a normal thing. Would, would you do it again? <laughs> Pretty much. I think that's the idea. You did I it. I would try it. it, yeah. I, uh, our other roommate, uh, I won't say his name. Friend he's of the show. Friend of the show, because this is about drugs. He's a big, he's a big proponent of DMT. Um, so I would, I would try it. I know some friends. Our other friend. In low places. In low places. He does it. Friend of the show, Garth Brooks. Uh, <laughs> he loves DMT. He loves drugs. Yeah. And killing people, according <laughs> to Tom Segura. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've not done, let's see, I don't know. I'm trying to think of any crazy other drugs I've done. I mean, psychedelics here and there, it's been a while. I've been just basically on the fucking booze train. <laughs> let's talk about that. What's that really about? <laughs> oh, it's probably a lot to do with my childhood. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's just delve into it, buddy. Chronic loneliness. Yeah, that'll do also it. Also the fact that I just get paid in alcohol fucking yep. four nights a week. Doesn't help. <laughs> not now. Doesn't hurt, though. Not, I mean, it hurts a little bit. Doesn't help and doesn't hurt. Hurts in the liver area. I think psychedelics are overrated, dude. I, it's all about. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. I've done them. Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? You're on drugs right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, yeah. uh -uh. <laughs> Just on the spice of life, buddy. The spice. But seriously, I smoke spice. You have um, smoked spice. I've never smoked spice. Actually. Really? I know you're a spice. Have you ever smoked spice, Chet? You're spices. I I don't think intentionally. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like in high school I've smoked some weed that didn't get me high. Uh. It could have been spices. Yeah. yeah, I think there was a time, and I don't remember. I might have done it where, like, weed was illegal. This yep. was in New York, but there was synthetic weed. That's spice. That's spice. That's what we're talking about. Oh, I thought you, you meant, thought like, you meant like oregano, oregano or something. And I was <laughs> no, like, like I don't. I smoked some bad weed. I don't think it's synthetic right. weed. Yeah, it's spices. You're oh. supposed to like fucking light it and let it fill the room up, and it's fucking really. Yeah. I, I but if you fucking inhale it directly into your lungs from a pipe, It'll fuck you, you up. trip the fuck out for uh, about twenty minutes. Oh, why? Well, that sounds fun. And then you go to high school. And <laughs> all your teachers. Oh my god! There was one. Time I wasn't smoking weed, guys. <laughs> yeah, right. I did. I did that one time. I smoked spice, and then went to <laughs> I went to gym class, and my friend Daniel, friend of the show, came up to me, and my eyes were so fucking red. He just came up to me and held his eye drops out. I was like, dude, put these in. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yes. I was like, thank you so That's much. That's a good friend. It's, he's the man. I still Identifying love him. Identifying the issue. Yeah. Coming there. I I I feel like. If you're going to smoke spice, gym's probably the best class to do it. That's I, what I had thought. Yeah. For sure, dude. And then I walked in the front doors and I was like, like <sighs> fucking, what's, what's a bad subject that they always call on you? 
Oh, I, well, I'll tell you. Fucking, because this is a true story. I smoked weed before high school exactly one time. Yep. It was my junior year. I was in uh, pre-calculus was like the first fucking subject of the day. And I, I got high with my buddies in the parking lot and then went into <laughs> class and was like, oh, fuck. And first period was pre-calculus. My football coach, one of my football coaches was the teacher, math. And like he, he fucking, I swear to God, he must have known I was high. It's like one of those things where it's like, he knows, he knows. He probably did know though. Yeah, he knew. Cause yeah, he, he probably just it. smelled like weed. Dude. I just, that yeah. was the other thing. Like, yeah, you, just, you smell like weed. You and smoke then, it, you smell like it. But I was just spaced out in the fucking <laughs> front row and he was like, rough. And I was like, huh? And he's like, whatever my question is. And I was just like, uh, uh, uh I, I don't know. And he was like, Pff. and then it's like, Moved on, and I was like, and I was at that moment, I was like, I'm never smoking weed before in high school, <laughs> ever again. It, it is wild. I mean, it is kind of hard to to hide you smoking weed if you just smell a ton like weed you know? all the time. Yeah. I bet my yeah. eyes were as red as the devil's dick too. There's yeah. no way they weren't. It's not. It's not an easy drug to conceal. It's like not really. No. Some people are real good at it. Those yeah. are some very high yeah. functioning fucking potheads. Like I have. One of my, I don't want to out him because we're talking about doing drugs, but one of my employees in the winter just, just, it's just constantly just ripping a weed pen the whole shift and she fucking whips ass at her job. Yeah. She's so good at her job and she's just always, she's like, oh, give me a second. She'll dip around the corner and just rip a weed pen and then come back to like a busy, busy fucking restaurant and well, just crush it. Well, some people like, yeah, it really fucking helps like if they have anxiety fucking issues not to get too far into the medical world right here, well, boys. That but I it, never like, got because it gives me anxiety. Yeah, but <laughs> for some people, it's the fucking opposite. The opposite. They're like, oh, I have anxiety constantly, but if I'm smoking yeah. this, like I can deal with these fucking customers. I can't pen. I don't understand how people hit pens. Do you hit pens? No, I don't. I don't like them for the lungs. I I don't like them because either I don't get high or I get too high. I need to go home immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like, no there's, in between. there's no middle ground. Of, <laughs> well, this is nice. It's like, I'm going to shit my pants or I'm, this isn't working. Yeah. You know? Or what are we doing here? Yeah. But like, is there stigma? Like, I don't know. If, if an employee was good at their job, I don't think I would care at all unless they got me in trouble. Yeah. Fuck, no, nor should you. Yeah. Why, why would I? You know, they're, they're doing their thing. Everyone's got their demons. If that yeah. helps them, You're fucking stressed out, get a little high, go sell some fucking fries. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it, dude. Not that big of a deal. Not a big deal. Yeah, I don't know. Weed is a big deal for me because I fucking melt like a child <laughs> anytime I smoke weed. I'm just like, oh, what? I'm scared. Everyone hates me. That's what happens when I smoke weed. I, I do yeah. sometimes get that anxiety where I'm like. What do, what do my people think about And it's like Who the fuck cares Yeah, yeah. When you're high You're in this, this zone Of being like Getting the vacuum Yeah Have I been thoughtful All my life Did I rub this person The wrong way right. Eight years ago Yeah dude Was I a dick in high school <laughs> Yeah like <laughs> That shit I guess to be fair I haven't I haven't I don't think I've smoked I think that maybe The last time I smoked weed Was that night Where I tried to smoke DMT Yeah And that was Eight years ago you could try it again, but you I could don't try it again. That was eight years ago. Was the last time you smoked weed? I think so. Yeah, that's that's a long time. It just never. Some I people spend, don't like it, dude. Which is wild to people who do I, like I, it. I understand because yeah. I've. I, I mean, I like it, but I've definitely taken edibles where I've been like, the day was definitely worse because I was high. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. I did eat. I, I ate edibles with my brother in Orlando. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was only a little bit. It still fucked me up a little bit. Yeah. But we went. We ate edibles. At our Airbnb, and we watched this movie called is this Disney movie called Inside Out. Okay. It's the fucking wor- no, was it called Inside Out or no? It's called Elements or Elementals. Yeah. It's the worst fucking Disney movie I've ever seen. Really? Oh, it was terrible. Oh man. Um, and then even on edibles, because then I feel like I feel like on edibles I hated it even more because I was like, I see what you're doing here, like pushing some yeah. fucking agenda These here. Fucking agenda. Do, do you guys on my ever knees? have something where? Maybe you took too much of an edible. It was some cartoon that you were like, this is the greatest thing ever. And then later you realized it wasn't, but at that particular moment. Yes, it wasn't a cartoon. I got high as fuck by myself in college, and I watched this movie called, uh, I think it was called like Great American Orgy or something like that. Yeah. 
I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's it's not yeah. the one with Jason Sudeikis. Oh, I don't it's, know what you're talking about. It's it's a different one that's like porn. similar, and it came out around the same time. It sounds like you just got high and watched yeah, porn. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, no, it wasn't. It wasn't patriotic porn. porn. Yeah, it was like some indie movie that a bunch of comics made, and I was like, "This is the best movie ever." I and like then that. I like, I like, I like, I like bad written indie movies that uh, that genre. That yeah. genre speaks to me. It was funny. It was, I I thought it was great though, and I then yeah. like afterwards, I even like text some friends like, "Dude, you gotta watch the movie. It's so good." And then I like later like I was like, "How does everyone not know about this movie?" And, like some reviews, and the reviews were just like, "This movie sucks balls," <laughs> and here's why. <laughs> and they listed all the reasons. And I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck, that's all true." Yeah, <laughs> I, I like, must have missed that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Ooh." Just snacking on Doritos. It, it is the part. it is the worst <laughs> when you see a movie and you're like, "This is the greatest movie ever." Let me check to see. The, yeah. The, well, Rotten Tomatoes said. Like Rotten Tomatoes probably loved it like the critics there and I've had ones where like I watched a movie Chum Scrubbers uh, Chum Scrubbers? Yeah I, like Was that porn? a porn? It, yeah. was, it was not a porn <laughs> I was like we're all just watching I was porn in high school <laughs> It might have been porn uh, No it wasn't porn and then it, it had like a 2% on Rotten Tomatoes like every single critic and audience member was like this is the stupidest thing ever and I was like it, it hurts you know yeah. it, it an, it's gotta be an indie movie that you you go at a blind and you're like, this one really speaks to me. It does suck when someone points out something about a movie that you didn't notice and you're like, now nah, this fucking sucks. And you're like, it just ruins like the Like in The Dark Knight when like Harvey Dent doesn't recognize the Joker until he takes off his mask. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you didn't know that was the Joker? Like, did you see the rest of his clown makeup? Yeah, dude. Someone pointed that out and I was like, fuck, that is a flaw in an otherwise flawless movie. That is, uh, that's, damn it. It's like he's sitting there looking at him. <laughs> he takes it off. He's like, ah! Takes off and goes, hi. <laughs> he's like, you son of a bitch. I didn't know it was you. I was ready to get a shot. Yeah, it's like, you have, your eyes are blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were just here to take my blood, but you're the Joker? <laughs> That's actually a great point. Yeah. Fuck. It's, uh, I know. Kathy, I'm going to watch that now and be like, oh. I know. It's, I thought it was flawless. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah. Well, fuck, boys. I think this is a great progress or uh, uh, progressive podcast. Podcast. It was a progressive about drugs. Podcast. We're talking about drugs and how uh, free we are to do them. So that is kind of progressive. That is progressive. Yeah, I'm, I, I live in Denver. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, you have do, to be. Yeah. You live. You used to live in Spain. Yeah, yeah. I used to live in Spain, a less <laughs> progressive place. And then Las Vegas. Las Vegas. A co- progressive place in some ways, and a very Vegas is a weird place. Weird place in others. Vegas is great. Vegas I, is great. Well, I can't say too much, but there's a chance that I might be living in Vegas soon for Let's an indefinite go. amount of time, um, for like a month or so. Uh, but I don't know. That's a different thing. I can't talk about it technically. Okay. Yeah, but or else he gets uh, killed, or else. I uh, had to sign an NDA. Let's go to a hitman job. Yeah, or else he gets killed in his room. I will get killed. Killer be they killed. They will come for me. The mob will come for me. I'm the hitman. Yeah, actually, yeah. Matt signed also an NDA that said he would kill me, and he can't talk about that either. Shit. Was I allowed to talk about that? No, but now you have to kill me, I think. <sighs> All right, we got some people to kill, but first it's Fat Boy Sundays, boys. Oh, yeah. Let's go get fat. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Really appreciate it. We got some great shows coming up next weekend. We're back with Hannah Jones. And the week after that, we're back with Adam Newman coming all the way from Los Angeles. Was he New York? Or, no, he's L.A. L.A. He's an L.A. guy. L.A. He, L.A. Mm-hmm. He's been all over the place. Um, so it's going to be a great time. we got all kinds of events going on. Check it all out. Stay about comedy. Big thanks to Chet Tilly for coming out and joining us. And big thanks to our sponsor. Again, this is brought to you by Pro- uh, McCrate. I can't talk. Progressive. Progressive. McCrate. McCrate. No, I already said that one. Yep, that's right. McCrate Progressive Dentistry. They're fantastic. They've been helping make Steamboat Locals smile for over 25 years. So for find more information for their general cosmetic and restorative dentistry practices, go online to McCratesmiles.com. Thank you, McCrate. Thank you, McCrate. Check them out. Thanks, everybody, for listening. We'll see you around soon. Have a good night. Bye. Beep. Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast.